So what's going on everybody? Steven here. I am actually in Las Vegas. I know I have not transported myself to California. This is the Las Vegas wetlands. I'll tell you a little bit more about this place in just a moment. But what I want to talk about here is more or less a channel update. Talk about what's going on with the channel. Talk about why I haven't done live streams and talk about what's going to happen in the future. we got a channel sponsor that's going to be coming on board, but there's some nuts and bolts and pieces to that. And I also want to talk about the last year that my wife and I have experienced and all of the love that we have for you guys who are actually watching this video. So if you don't know, I'm Stephen. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. And I started doing a video channel on YouTube on January 1st of 2019. And wouldn't you know it, I got very blessed having one of my Raiders Allegiant Stadium tours um, be next up when they were doing construction and the channel grew a little bit before I knew it I had a thousand subscribers and then COVID hit and before you knew it anybody with the word Vegas in their channel had a lot of action and we did live streams a lot but things have changed so much and so tremendously that I thought I owe you guys an explanation as to why we've gone from live streaming almost every day to live streaming almost never. And talk about the future content for this channel. I think you're gonna love it, so share this with somebody else. Maybe they used to watch me in the past, but they don't watch me anymore. I'm giving you guys my pure genuine self right now, and I may get a little bit emotional in this video. So first things first, the last year. Now Caroline left in May of 2022 to go see her family. And she's still over there and she'll be coming back later this year. And mark my words as heaven, as heaven's watches over me and God be my witness, I will post a Patreon update about that. And why am I posting it on Patreon where you guys are mad you have to pay $1.99 a month, which is pennies a day, which you can't buy a coffee at a gas station for. Because there are haters out there who are gonna say things and my wife can't come on camera and defend herself. So screw it, I'm just gonna put it there because I know people won't troll me and if they wanna pay me money to troll me, that's cool, I should make a troll tier over there. It'll be 50 bucks a month and you can say whatever nasty things you want and I'll even read them out on channel. But point is, we're not doing live streams right now, a lot has changed. So when she left, I did live streams every day for I think 60 or 75 days. And then I snapped my arm up. I've been in a mental free fall for the last several months and I haven't told anybody about it, but I've managed to fix all that and it's been miraculous and I want to share with you in a minute how I fix my mental free fall because a lot of you guys might be going through something similar to me. I say guys, there are some women watching. I love all the ladies out there, but my channel is 87% men. That's just what YouTube tells me. All right, so after she left, I snapped up my arm. I have been a fitness guy for decades. I've been going to the gym. I love to quantify things, I track my food, I do all that, and then suddenly, boom, I couldn't do anything with it. And by some miraculous, crazy way, you guys all came together and y'all sponsored the surgery on GoFundMe. Now this is what the bicep looks like today. It's, it used to be way back to there. It's better than it was. From here, it almost looks normal, and I have functionality. And they told me I'm clear for all exercise, so I'm trying to get back. But during that time, I'm gonna tell you, I was in a trap. I was eating so badly. I was destroying my body with food. I wasn't sleeping well. I was uh, taking melatonin doses that are way too much. I was trying everything I could to get some rest. And then I had to go back to work back last you know, August, July, August, and I hadn't worked for a long time because I had that crypto channel sponsor, which just didn't work out. Not gonna answer questions about it, sorry. There's no reason to go into it. I'm not battling anybody. It just didn't work out. We went our separate ways. Right about the same time that Caroline left. It was the worst thing I'd ever had to deal with. And oh my gosh, going back to doing a day job, a desk job, where I felt like I had failed somehow in my head, it was terrible. So let's fast forward. We had July and August. I had the surgery in September. I'm cleared for fitness, but I've been just eating. You know those little powdered donuts they sell at Walmart? Out here, they come in a, like a clear plastic container. I did a whole one of those in a day. It was terrible. And all the whole time, I thought, well, I'll be fine. I've always been fine. I'm going to be okay. And I was not okay. Now, work was always a struggle. I was exhausted all the time. Just so exhausted all the time. Like, it didn't matter if I slept eight hours or six hours or three hours. I was drinking coffee to stay awake. I was constantly feeling like absolute trash. And then I got blood work done, and I found out that I have uh, I had a few things that were bad. Um, I had things, something called creatine bun, which was high, which could indicate kidney damage. 
I don't think it does because sometimes people who intermittent fast and eat a lot of protein at the end of the day, even after 12 hours, that can be high. Also, doing I was back in the gym by this point, but I wasn't consistent. But the big thing that bothered me was the A1C being even one point, it was one point over normal range and also my fasting blood glucose. So I did something completely dramatic. I went on what's called the carnivore diet. If you're following me on Twitter, you guys have seen that I've been doing that. It's been about 20 days at this point, I think. I started on March 5th. What is it, the 24th today, 25th? My watch died, wouldn't you figure? It's been how many days since March 5th to the 24th, 25th? 20 days. It is. It is... It has ignited my brain. It has switched me on to this amazing version of myself that I haven't seen in years, maybe ever. I talk too fast to people, like I'm super engaged and excited. I can think clearly. I can stop talking when I have to stop talking, and I'm motivated to do a lot of stuff. So then why, pray tell, haven't I gotten back to the live streams? Well, it's a mental thing. It's a challenge. We're going to get to the channel sponsor in a minute, by the way. I'm not announcing it today, but I want to give you some insider information. But it's risk aversion. It's it's a fear of snapping myself up again. It's the worry that I look on the news and I fall into the news cycle and I see what's happening on Las Vegas Boulevard and all the crazy stuff that's happening with all the crazy people out there. And I think, I can't afford to be that guy right now. I can't afford to lose my phone because somebody wants to snatch it out of my hand and run with it or bump into somebody who's a belligerent drunk or on worse things. So I don't go to the strip and I don't live stream. Now somebody on my Facebook group said, you're just live streaming for the money. This is proof of it. You do only things for money. And I said, you're right, and so do you. Everybody does things for money. So right now I'm selling advertising, trying to get mentored in the publishing business, which is amazing. Just the fact that anybody's willing to do that with me is fantastic. And I'm at, I'm at a point right now. Is my camera making noise? It might be. I don't know. I don't know if this is even usable. I'm at a point right now where I completely feel comfortable to making full-time content again, but different content. I'm toying around with the idea of taking my Insta360 camera to the strip, making 360 videos that are about five to eight minutes in length, not having to do epic things, just show you guys Vegas in a different way that you've never seen before because it's hard to be innovative, but you always have to be innovative. You always have to add value to things. That's a marketing and sales thing for you, but think about the iPhone. Steve Jobs didn't reinvent, or he didn't invent the PDA. <clears throat> there was always Palm Pilots and Blackberries, but he added a massive amount of value to it and made it better. So I'm gonna make the videos better. That's great for you, great for me, great for everybody. At the same time, Maybe I'll do some videos around town. You tell me if you want to see that. And we're going to be doing some documentaries on Vegas on the channel as well because those always return really, really well. And I have another channel called Dark Truth Documentaries that you can fall into and look at, but I just need time for all of that stuff. But now that my energy level is kind of fixed by eating nothing but meat, nothing but cheese, nothing but things that come from an animal for the last two, three weeks, it's amazing. And I never want to give this feeling of energy and of like longevity up to people. It's craziness. I can't believe it. It's so crazy that I started just doing things that God would want me to do, like calling my friends that I haven't talked to in a million years and seeing how they're doing. One of my friends is down in Texas and they run a company and they're branding a company with me for my audience, which is amazing. And you can't even buy it yet because the website's not done and because the product's not ready to go, but that's going to be coming up in the future. And it's not like when I tried the Melaleuca thing and I use their products. I like their products. Their products are some of the best in the entire industry for healthcare and wellness and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's not like that. It's just, if you like the product, you buy the product, they cut me off on it. And there's already a YouTuber doing this and I'm not going to tell you who it is. So, I mean, there's lots of YouTubers doing this, but there's a YouTuber in the same, with the same company. So a lot of things have just kind of dropped into my lap. The live streams will come back in time but just not right now. Not right now where I got to clear my headspace out and make sure that I am running on all cylinders good enough. And I mean, I just want you guys to know that Caroline and I love you very, very much. All the things that you've done for us, all the help that you've given us, it's not gone unheard. If I could hug the entire world or if I could do something to help those people that have helped us, I would. But I don't know what to do except for keep creating content, straighten out my stuff, get my health back, be a better version of me. And if I can be a better version of me, I'm positive it's going to serve you guys. So thank you for watching. Keep watching the videos. we got a video on Austin, Texas versus Vegas coming up in the airports. I'm editing that right now. i got some really banging stuff on that 360 camera coming up. I guarantee you're not going to see anything else like it. I will literally take those videos, which export in like 2K, and then spend six, seven hours upscaling them to 60 frames per second 4K for you guys just to give you that really amazing experience that we can have with all this technology that we have. So... Uh, 
Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Come down to the Wetlands Park. This is uh, not far from the Strip, maybe a 15-20 minute drive down Tropicana. Not hard to get here. Um, you would just take Tropicana East until you get to Boulder Highway and there you are and you're exactly where you want to be. Lots of bird watching. There's actual springs. You can hear ducks and birds around me. So I came out here to go birding today. I got one photo of a bird. Other than that, I got some cool photos of the strip from a distance, which, uh, yeah. I love you guys for watching. Thanks so much. We got to go. Three, two, one, and. Three, two, one, and. Can I get close to my blurry? Click!